Hey guys, it's Sam. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be filming another really quick Throwback Thursday video using another one of those palettes that have been hiding in the bottom of my palette drawer that I haven't reached for in probably like months to be completely honest. I would love to say it hasn't been that long, but it definitely has. So for today's Throwback Thursday, I'm going to be playing with my Tarte Graveyard Girl Swamp Queen palette. I haven't touched this palette in probably something like four or five months. It's been a really long time. It just kind of got buried in the bottom of my drawer. Uh, if you've never seen it before, this is just what it looks like here. So you get nine shadows. You also get a highlighter, blush, and a bronzo, bronzo, which I just gouged my finger into. That's great. Um, so unlike normally when I do these uh, throwbacks, like my face is normally completely done with the exception of my eyeshadow, but since there is a highlight, a bronzer, and a blush in there, I figured I would just use those from this palette as well because you know, the ultimate purpose that I'm trying to do with this series is to find which palettes I really, really, really like so that I can start letting go of some of the ones that maybe I'm not as fond of anymore um, so that ultimately I can refresh my collection and get some new ones. So first things first, I'm going to be using my Elsa... Wow, that bow is a little crooked. There we go. My Elsa Mickey Mouse ears today to hold my hair back because, side note before I start getting into this actual makeup look, um... So it's what, like mid-April, something like that. Uh, we had a full-blown, I mean, if you're from this area, you probably already know this. Um, we had a full-blown ice storm over the weekend, like absolutely insane, just pellets of ice rocketing down. Um, I almost didn't get, so I got in a, okay, I'm going to say this and I don't want anyone to panic. I got in a car accident last week. Um, was my fault. I just got rear-ended. Not a big deal. Um, but because of that, I don't have my car. So my rental car doesn't have snow tires on it. Um, and it has traction control, which is a new thing for me because I have kind of an older vehicle. I have a 2006 car. Um, this one is a 2018 car. So a lot of different features on it that I'm not used to. So like I said, this one has traction control, which I wasn't anticipating wasn't expecting so after I got out of my driveway which is sheer ice by the way and to even get down to my car I pretty much had a controlled fall so by that I kind of mean I sat on the ice and slid my butt down all the way down um, my front walkway until I got to my car just to keep myself from actually having a really big fall um, but anyway once I got my car out of the driveway I kind of got it stuck and then it wouldn't go forward so I went a little further back and it wouldn't go forward and I ended up having to remember at seven o'clock in the morning to turn the traction control off to get the car up the street. It probably took like 10 minutes, uh, which it should take 20 seconds to get my car out of the driveway and up the street, but I got it done. So anyway, in honor of that cold snap, which is thankfully going away now, the ice and snow are starting to melt. I thought I'd go with my frozen ears. Um, so I have done a lot of my face makeup. I've done my eyebrows and, um, it probably doesn't look like it, but my concealer and everything like that, no bronzer yet, nothing like that. Um, and I did prime my lids with my Mac painterly paint pot as well. Like I always do. So I think for today I'm going to do, I was just trying to think of which colors I feel like playing with. Um, So I have two options. I can either go with some of these more purple colors, maybe throw in a little bit of this color here, or I can sort of play in these six here because they are all more cohesive. So I think I'm actually going to do that just because I think I can do a little bit more and I want to use more rather than less. Uh, so the first thing that I'm going to do is just take the color Big Baby. It's this like PG color here, and I'm going to put that all over my lid and um, kind of up to my brow bone as well. And I'm hoping that the sun stays more or less behind the clouds so that this doesn't get completely washed out. And I also hope you guys can see what I'm doing. Just like that. So the next I think I'm going to be using, um, just trying to think of how exactly I want to do this. Let's do natural peaches. It's this shade right here. I'm going to take that and put that all into my crease just as a base layer. Um, and I'm going to let it go a little high up as well because I do want um, it to kind of transition up into where my brows are. And that's the color that is the lightest of all the ones I will be putting in my crease. So um, I don't mind it standing out a little bit more. I am... I'm very much of the opinion that because my features are quite fair, uh, unless I'm really going for a bold, dramatic eye look, I do tend to keep most of my darker colors very, very limited in the crease. Um, and for that reason, that's why I kind of smoke these colors um, higher than everything else. But I 
probably could I probably should do that actually sometime soon is do just like a really dramatic eye look like something really dark and smoky just for a change I know I did it um for my Disney series with Mickey when I did Ursula I had the really really dark purple eyes which I really really liked so maybe I'll do something like that uh either in this series or just if I feel like playing with a palette or something like that so I'm going to take the color dog man it's this kind of like burnt orange color and I'm going to use that uh, as my main crease color I'm just going to stop probably about halfway and I'm going from the outside in so that the um bulk of the color deposit is on the outer corner and then I can kind of like drag and blend it inwards rather than the other way around um just because I find that if I start here and blend out then you get that really really harsh deposit line in the center if that makes any sense I can hear myself talking and realize that like I'm so out of practice of doing this because I haven't been doing it near as much as I used to um and my brain is so fried from school and everything like that um also when I say school I do mean work work right now pretty much is school um but my brain is so fried and so into that stuff that like I feel like my personal life just has like suffered seriously <sighs> at least my speech has <laughs> so I'm just blending that out like that I hope you guys can kind of see that I actually forgot how much I really do love this palette it's been a very long time since I've used it um it doesn't have the biggest variety of colors like some other palettes do. I will say that like it is very, very like you have to like these colors to um, have this be worth worth you getting. And like I can see that there is just a ton of fallout all over the palette. Now, there hasn't seemed to be any on my face as of yet, but I also haven't used any of the glitter shadows yet, which I am actually using right now. And I as I tap it. I can just see all these glitter particles going away. So I'm using the color Sippy Sippy. It's like this brown that has the gold in it to uh, layer into the out outer corner. That didn't do what I wanted it to do. I went too far into my lid, which is actually okay because I am going to be throwing on uh, one of the shimmery colors over it. Um, honestly, I think this color would almost do better to not have the gold flecks in it. Like, they barely show up, and, you know, where they are, it just kind of looks a little funny. Um, just a personal preference and opinion, though. You know, there's nothing wrong with them. There comes the sun, so hopefully I'm not getting washed out for you guys right now. Oopsies. I'm kind of, like, eyeing it, and it still looks kind of okay, I think, as long as I sit a little further back, which is a pain, because... Obviously, in doing makeup, you guys are going to want to see me, and I'm also, like, blinding myself right now, so I can't really see what's going on. But I think that looks pretty good. So then, for a all-over-the-lid color, I think I'm going to do this color in Sassy Bun. See, this is what I meant about the sun. Now that the sun's out, which of course it is, uh, everything's getting glare, and uh, there's not many more clouds in the sky, so sorry about that. Hopefully, you guys can more or less still see what I'm doing. Let me kind of pull this down a little does that help at all that helps a little bit I guess so I'm just taking this color this is sassy bun I'll show you guys it again it's this color right here I just threw my curtain down a little bit in front of it so I hope it's not too dark now and I'm going to put that all over my lid uh, until about the inner little bit because I am going to put a touch of hashtag SFS um, into my inner corner just to finish it off. So yeah, I'm going to take hashtag FSF, SFS, which is this, and I'm just going to stick a little itty bit in the inner corner. These shimmers are absolutely beautiful, by the way. And I mean, I really like Tarte Shadows as it is. My favorite palette of theirs is the um, Toasted palette. I really like that one so and the shadows are I mean they're all from Tarte so they're of a very similar quality which is really nice and they do really really nice like pearlized foil shadow I don't know what they're exactly called um but those <laughs> now I thought I had oh I do okay so say I thought I had an eyeliner and then it went missing but I found it so as per usual I'm just gonna use my Stila Stay All Day waterproof liner uh just because it's the easiest one for me to use and for me to get right now This is also the first time I've ever done it solely into my 
camera, so I don't know how this is going to turn out. Let's take a look. Oh, that's actually not bad. Hmm. Interesting. I guess the real proof is in how the other eye goes. Not very well. Whatever. Um. There we go. I was going to say, I'll just try and even it out a bit. That one got a little bit thicker on me, but that's okay for the most part. I really like the way that this turned out. I like how smoky those bronzes kind of all go together. Um, I'm really glad that the curtain is kind of working for me right now also um so now for bronzer okay I normally don't use this bronzer because it is like super super dark and orange but I'm gonna give it a try and just sort of see how it goes um so it's in the color sweet tea and there oh my goodness there's a lot of fallout from this bronzer um I have a bad feeling about this I just think it's gonna be too too dark and too orange for my face Yeah. And I'm right. It's super dark. Um, so there is that, but that's why I'm kind of using two brushes. Like I'm putting most of it on with the thinner one, just getting it kind of closer to the edges of my face. And then, oh geez, that's brutal. That looks horrendous. And then, uh, yeah, I don't like this bronzer. So there is that if you're, and I think that's like the biggest problem with some of these palettes that have more than one thing in them is that, um, it's kind of like you want to use it for your whole face. And if one thing isn't going to work for you, is it almost really worth getting? Sorry. I'm just not a fan. I know like the thing is to have your under eyes look way brighter than the rest of your face, but I actually don't like that. I think it just makes it too obvious that I personally have concealer on, uh, so I don't do that, which is why I just tapped the tiniest, tiniest little bit of that bronzer underneath my eyes, and, uh, thankfully it kind of worked out for me, so <laughs> getting lucky today. So then, uh, for the blush color, I'm going to do this, does this thing really work? That's the blush in this palette. Um, it does have some glitter in it, so again, if you're not a fan of the glittery blushes, oh, that's really dark. I made a mistake. It's okay. I'll just blend it out. Um, if you're not a fan of the glittery blushes, I do not recommend this. And these are super, pig like, stupid pigmented, so I should have been more careful. And I know this highlight is insane, so we're going to use the highlight Gator Wings. This one I have used quite frequently before, and it is just nuts. I can't remember there being this much fallout, um, in the past, to be completely honest. Like, look at that. Do you guys see that shine on my nose? Holy, overdid it a bit. That's okay. Overdid it a lot. My bad. But we got an offset for all of the other mess ups that I did. Why not be super glowy? In all honesty, I'm not really doing anything after I film this. I'm kind of, well, not kind of. I'm going to my boyfriend's house, and uh, we're probably going to watch movies, so it doesn't really matter what my makeup looks like in the long run. So if when I walk outside, I'm like, whoa, that's really orange, I can just take it off, and it won't matter. <laughs> I'm really tempted. I want to, sometimes I let, I don't do it often, but I mean, we're there anyway, so we'll just highlight underneath those eyebrows as well. Um, normally at this point too, I would drag some of some color underneath. So I think I am going to do that. I'm going to use the color dog man. So that's that like orangish kind of color. I think I want to just put a bit of that. And I do mean a bit cause I just picked up a ton. So let me get some of that off. I'm just going to put a bit of that underneath. I think that looks really nice again though. Like these shadows are silly pigmented. And then for mascara today, normally I would actually double up on my roller lash and my Better Than Sex, but I think I'm going to see, because I don't really remember what this looks like on its own. Uh, so I think I'm just going to use my Better Than Sex mascara. 
Now I remember why I don't normally use it on its own. Um, because it clumps like crazy unless you separate your lashes previous. Oh well. Too late now. Um, I wish I had a lipstick in front of me. But I don't. So give me two seconds. I'm going to go and see if I can dig one out that I think will look good with this look. Okay, so I thought... Now, this might turn out really bad, I, but I haven't used this lipstick yet. It's one of the ones that Mickey sent me. Uh, it's one of the NYX Element ones, and this one is in Glossy Peach. So it looks like this. Um, I think this might be a really bad decision, but I kind of wanted to see what it would do with, like, those bronzes and orange tones in my eyes. And I also have one of the new lip glasses that I got that um, I did haul all this stuff. It should be on my channel already, but if it's not, keep an eye out. It is coming. Uh, this one is in Shape Shifting Peach. It's from MAC, so let's just kind of... Do a combo of those. That is real smooth. I don't know if I like it with this eye, but I do really like the color. I'm hoping that this will kind of just... Deepen it up a bit. Not really, but that's okay. I'm okay with it. I kind of like it. Maybe not. I'm not normally like a match your eyes to your lips kind of thing, but new time for everything. So ultimately, my thoughts on using this palette today, um, there was a lot of fallout in the palette itself. I'm trying not to blind you guys. This is the other thing I don't like about filming with this is that like this is like a mirror, so it's kind of a pain. Um, I did notice a lot of fallout on the physical palette itself. Um, and like before I use things, I was tapping them like crazy to get it all off. So maybe that's the reason I ended up kind of okay and I don't have a ton of fallout. Uh, so that I'm going to have to be aware of. As I said, I'm not a fan of the bronzer color. I just think it's too orange and too dark for my skin tone. Um, the blush I'm like meh about. Uh, again, I just think that like when you tap your brush on, it's so dark for me that I'm pretty much tapping all the product off anyway. It kind of seems like a waste. Uh, the highlighter I adore and all of the shadows I like except for maybe the dark brown one just because I don't see the point in why they needed to put gold glitter in it. But again, just a personal opinion. So will I be keeping this palette? Absolutely I will. I forgot how much I actually enjoyed the shadows. Um, so I'm really excited to get to play with this again. And yeah, so if you guys like these kind of videos, then hit that thumbs up button. Uh, if you want to see, if you know of another palette I have that you want to see me play with, definitely let me know. I would love to do that for you guys. Keep an eye out for tons of new content. I'm going to be filming a couple today and a couple tomorrow so that I don't leave you guys hanging for so long. Um, but yeah, so subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. And I will catch you guys next time. Bye.